सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड इन टू देशन गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द ई एस आई सेक्शन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एंड अपार्ट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन गाइज बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर कमिंग हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड यू हैव टू प्रेस दिस बेलाइकन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप फॉर डेली क्विजेस एंड अपडेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द डेली सेशन एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट द कोर्सेज so let's move ahead to the very first question which says the ministry of power has decided to set up a national mission on use of biomass in coal based thermal power plants so you have to consider the following statements regarding this mission and you have to tell which of the above mentioned statements is are the objectives of this mission inme se aapko objective identify karna hai ki kaun kaun se objective hai ya fir kaun sa ek objective hai of this newly decided mission and remember it has recent it has been decided not launched abhi isko launch nahi kiya hai to iske bare mein kuch bahut sari details hamare paas nahi hai we don't have that much details about this mission so let's talk about jitna bhi hame pata hai so ministry of power which is headed by mr r k singh rajkumar singh his lok sabha constituency is ara which is of course in bihar so this ministry has decided to set up a national mission on use of biomass in coal based thermal power plants so in the coal based thermal power plants from now biomass will be used after the launch of this mission and i hope aap sabko biomass ka matlab pata hai i hope you all know what is the meaning of biomass bio means what bio means living and mass means we all know so any living thing or you can say the organic matter so the organic matter will be used in the coal based thermal power plants to of course reduce the air pollution and it will definitely contribute to the national clean air program and what is the objective to support the energy transition in the country of course and to move towards the cleaner energy sources this is the basic objective of this mission and remember these are the broader objectives to address the issue of air pollution due to farms trouble burning and also to reduce the carbon footprints of thermal power generation because we are generating a lot of carbon dioxide in the carbon so to reduce that carbon footprints we have to do something and uh, the only thing or you can say the the thing that we can do is 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 you know using the conventional form of non conventional forms of energy like biomass okay so the duration of the and remember the duration of the proposed national mission would be a minimum 5 years 5 saal hoga iska duration aur iske alawa jo bhi cheeze hongi that we will discuss once all the guidelines will be launched okay so here the question is about the objective so to reduce the issue of air pollution due to farms trouble burning this is absolutely correct this is one of the objectives to reduce carbon footprints of thermal power generation this is also one of the objective and to support the energy transition in the country so which means option d should be the correct answer all are the objectives and now let's move ahead to question number 2 consider the following statements with respect to one of the schemes under the ministry of women and child and uh, women, women and child development and you have to name the scheme This ministry is headed by Smriti Irani. Smriti Irani, and she is also the minister of textiles, right? Remember this. She is also the minister of textiles. Okay, and you have to consider these four statements regarding one of the schemes of the Ministry of Women and Child Development, and then you have to identify the scheme. So the very first statement is that the ministry has decided to extend it across nine countries. It is funded through Nirbhaya Fund. it was launched in april 2015 and it provides assistance to indian women who are survivors of gender based violence so basically or i hope aap iska answer easily kar payenge because recently humne is scheme ke bare mein padha hai ek do din pehle ek do session pehle hi recently we have discussed about this scheme and let me tell you the correct answer to this question is option c one stop center scheme now the thing is why we are discussing it again because recently the ministry of women and child development has announced that they are going to set up one stop centers across nine countries across the world to provide assistance to indian women who are the survivors of gender based violence in these nine countries and which are these nine countries these are bahrain kuwait qatar oman uae saudi arabia mein there are two places riyadh and jeddah and other than this uh, australia canada and singapore so these are the nine countries and 10 places where these one stop centers are going to be set up by the government of india under the ministry of women and child development and also they have decided that in india also they will set up 300 additional one stop centers in addition to the 701 existing one existing one stop centers across the 
कंट्री ओके एंड इसके अलावा इन द डिटेल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द स्कीम रिसेंटली सो लेट अस नॉट रिपीट दैट थिंग एंड हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज व्हाट ऑप्शन सी वन स्टॉप सेंटर एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 अ स्टार्टअप हैज रिसीव्ड नेशनल अवार्ड 2021 फ्रॉम टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड फॉर डेवलपिंग अ कमर्शियल सॉल्यूशन फॉर कन्वर्जन ऑफ सीओ2 टू केमिकल्स इन फ्यूल्स यू हैव टू नेम द स्टार्टअप दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ दीस डेज गवर्नमेंट इज वेरी मच फोकस्ड ऑन द Uh, you know environment sector or you can say the environmental economics so you have to name the startup let's talk about this news so this is a bangalore based startup which is known as breathe applied sciences so this startup has received this national award 2020 from the technology development board and why this award this, this is for developing a commercial solution for conversion of co2 to chemicals and fuels CO2 को केमिकल्स और फ्यूल्स में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए कुछ कमर्शियल सॉल्यूशन इसने डेवलप किया है स्टार्टअप ने एंड फॉर दैट इट हैज गॉट दिस अवार्ड व्हिच इज नोन एज नेशनल अवार्ड 2020 फ्रॉम द टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड नाउ टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट दिस स्टार्टअप सो दिस इज इनक्यूबेटेड एट द जवाहरलाल नेहरू सेंटर फॉर एडवांस साइंटिफिक रिसर्च एंड दे हैव डेवलप्ड एफिशिएंट कैटलिस्ट इन मेथोडोलॉजीज फॉर द कन्वर्जन ऑफ CO2 इनटू केमिकल्स एंड फ्यूल्स and remember the research was carried out by professor sebastian peter and his group from the jawaharlal nehru center for advanced scientific research now what is the significance to guys significance to bahut easy hai because we all know carbon dioxide ka jo uh, amount hai wo hamare mind mein badhta hi chala ja raha hai so to reduce that carbon dioxide we have to do something so this will be beneficial in that and this will also reduce the global climate change and this will also help in reducing the global warming okay so the development is significant because the solutions help in the conversion of anthropogenic co anthropogenic co2 generated from various sources including coal and natural gas power generation sources okay and it has the potential to develop a complete solution for the environmental issues due to global warming all right and remember the startup has received funding from the dst nano dst nano mission so there is a mission of the department of science and technology which is known as nano mission and under that mission this startup has got funding for this project okay so now let's come back to question number 3 so here the correct answer should be what option a breathe applied sciences bangalore option a should be the correct answer because we have to just identify the name of the startup which has got this uh, uh, award national award 2021 from technology development board and now let's move ahead to question number 4 which is guys the last question for today the government launched the first phase of the latest update to its digital corporate compliance portal mca 21 version 3.0 so its third version has now been launched which of the following is not correct about mca 21 portal kaun si baat isme sahi nahi hai mca 21 ke bare mein batana hai let's talk about this so uh, mca 21 version 3.0 has been launched and it is envisioned to strengthen enforcement promote ease of doing business enhance user experience facilitate seamless integration and also the data exchange among the regulators and i hope aapne mca 21 ke bare mein suna hoga because uh, ye kafi time se kaam kar raha hai it is an online portal of the ministry of corporate affairs that has made all company related information accessible to the various stakeholders of the country and also to, uh, to the general public it was uh, launched in the year 2006 and it was the first mission mode e governance project of the government of india all right and it has also been part of mission mode projects of the government of india it is currently also the part right now talking about the third version of this portal so it is part it was announced in the 2021 budget and it will definitely create new functionalities like e adjudication compliance management system advanced help desk system will be there feedback services will be there user dashboard self reporting tools and other important features that will be provided by this version 3.0 and remember there will be two modules also which are named as ebook and e consultations and of course uh, a revamped website new email services for the mc officer and mc i hope you all know ministry of corporate affairs okay so this is about this mca 21 portal and now let's come back to the question is not correct we have to identify it was launched in 2006 okay so that is absolutely correct and it has made all mandatory rela uh, related information Uh, accessible to various stakeholders and the general public. Second, second is also correct, and we have to identify not correct. So option C should be the correct answer. Both are correct. Should be the correct answer. So let us say this question is 
यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट देन द ऑप्शंस विल बी डेफिनेटली करेक्ट सो ऑप्शन सी बोथ आर करेक्ट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर इन दैट केस ऑलराइट एंड गाइस दैट्स इट फॉर द सेशन आई होप ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आर क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस